pray for blessings. We pray for peace, comfort for family, protection while we sleep. We pray for healing, for prosperity. We pray for your mighty hand to ease our suffering. And all the while, you hear each broken need. Yet love is way too much to give us lesser things. Cause what if your blessings come through raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? What if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know your We pray for wisdom, for your voice to hear We cry in anger when we can't feel you near We doubt your goodness, we doubt your love A delightful morning, virtual attendees. I'm Dexter Andrew of PSAU. Six days remain until the first day of classes for the first semester of school year 2021 to 2022 here at Pampanga State Agricultural University. 
We know that a lot of you, especially new students, are both excited and anxious. There could be some concerns and questions in your mind. Don't worry, we know that feeling. We totally understand that. So this morning, through this program, we are going to help you new students to be acquainted with PSAU and its services and to remind continuing students as well. With that, welcome to this virtual orientation for new and continuing undergraduate and graduate students. All right, just to you know, set expectations, we are going to accomplish three main things for this program. What are these three things? First, we are going to present the learning modality of PSAU. Second, we are going to introduce key personnel in the university. And third, we are going to show you the services of PSAU under the Office of Student Affairs and Services or OSAS. We may not be able to answer everybody's questions today, but somehow this virtual orientation program will help you begin with the adjustment phase of being a college student. And that is being well informed of what we have here at Pampanga State Agricultural University. As they say, lamang ang may alam. So please stay with us until the end of the program. Take note, ayo namin sa pangit kabanding. So at this juncture, let us keep the ball rolling. Let us hear the message of our OIC and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Anita G. David. Although she won't be able to join us for this program, her message will be read by our Director for the Innovation Center, Dr. Gerald Salas. Good morning. Allow me to read the message of Dr. Anita G. David, the officer in charge of the Office of the President and the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Isang magandang umaga sa lahat. To our dear freshmen, you are now officially part of the Pampanga State Agricultural University family. From the time that you decided to study in this university up to the time that you are officially enrolled, how did you conduct yourselves? Have you have been always courteous to the people you dealt with even if you did everything online? Sa sarili mo ba masasabi mo na naging mabait ka sa pakikitungo sa mga tao sa PSAU? Isang laking pamilya ang PSAU at nawa ang bawat isa sa inyo ay maging mabuting bahagi ng pamilyang ito. As new members of the PSAU family, may you be abiding members so that you will further develop in you the kind of person God wants you to be. During your four or five or year, six year stay in PSAU, I hope that you are resolved that it will be a blessing to your teachers, to your classmates, and to everybody that you deal with along the way. Isang magandang senyales na ang mga ro ninyo ay nakukwento na magaganda sa inyo kahit sa online platform lang kayo nakikita. Mag-establish kayo ng magandang pangalan sa sarili ninyo. Ang isang estudyanteng marunong magpasalamat at marunong bumati ay ang klase ng estudyante na sana meron kami sa PSAU. Lahat tayo walang karapatang magmalaki sa kahit na kahit sa kahit na sino. Hindi natin gaari ay ibang tao para kausapin natin sila sa hindi magandang paraan. May we let ourselves have the goodness to always utter miracles in our mouth. By doing this, we are creating an environment where we warm the hearts of people and become the blessing that God wants us to be. Sana gawin yung mas makabuluhan ang pag-aaral ninyo sa PSAU sa pagiging mabuting tao. Hangad ng PSAU na mas maging mabuti pa ang buhay ninyo. Please prosper where you are planted so that you will be blissful and pleasant. You and your parents should be part of the development of the university. Never fail your parents, work hard for your future, and never fail PSAU, your future alma mater. Welcome to the Pampanga State Agricultural University family. God bless all of you. Thank you, Dr. Gerald Salas, for reading to us the message of Vice President Dr. Anita G. David. 
Now let us begin the main event. Just like what I mentioned earlier, our first target is to present the learning modality of PSAU. I know that some of you got used to answering printed modules or even attending online classes back in senior high school. In PSAU, we have our own learning modality. So let's begin that. Para sa ating learning modality, virtual attendees, new students, and even those continuing one, again, let us hear it from Dr. Gerald Salas. Thank you, Sir Dexter. Okay. So as mentioned by Sir Dexter, I'll be presenting the PSJU Flexible Learning. So we only have one topic for this presentation and the focus on what are you going to expect in your classes. So napaka-importante nito, especially for the freshmen who will be first encountering their teachers, their classmates online. So let's first define flexible learning. So according to the uh, CHED Memorandum Order uh, 4 Series of 2020, the guidelines on the implementation of flexible learning, the Commission on Higher Education defined flexible learning as pedagogical approach, allowing flexibility of time, place, and audience. It means kahit nasaan kayo, kahit anong oras, you will be able to access your learning materials. So ibig sabihin, hindi tatapos yung pag-aaral. Kumbaga, na, hindi na, na hinder yung pag-aaral natin ng pandemya. So that's why we are implementing flexible learning. Now in PSAU, you will be encountering mix of synchronous and asynchronous activities. So pag sinabi nating synchronous activities, eto yung sabay-sabay kayo ng mga classmates ninyo na nagkaklase. So you'll be doing online sessions, online consultations with your professors, with your teachers via video conferencing. So ang gamit dito sa PSAU is typically it's Zoom. However, there are also some faculty that use Google Meet. Now for asynchronous activities, um, the you will be able to access your learning materials in our learning management system. So dito sa learning management system, dito kayo makakapag-submit ng inyong mga lecture, dito nyo, ng inyong mga, ng, ninyong mga requirements, dito nyo makikita yung inyong mga lecture, and all other materials necessary for your class. So for PSAU, we have the official Moodle-based uh, LMS. We name it as PA, PSAU Escuela. So this could be accessed in the um, link provided in your screen. Now in PSAU scale, Escuela, you will be provided with your the course guides or nandito yung mga topics na aralin yung for the semester. You'll be able to access your learning materials. You'll be able to access your, of course, your examinations, your quizzes, and any form of assessments deemed na sa identify na yung teacher para sa inyong mga klase. Now, in PSAU, you will be provided two accounts. One is your PSAU school account. This is your uh, account for learning management system. So your username is your student number. Now, your username, meron yung letters. So yung letter dun sa student number ninyo, it will be small letters. It should be small letters. Then yung default password, it's PSAU at 2021. Now, you will also be provided with um, uh, institutional email or the PSAU is email. So your PSAU email, it bears your initials, your surname, and the last three digits of your student number. However, at present, we are still migrating your data and we are processing your SQL accounts and your email addresses. And before, uh, probably by next week, all of these are already set. Now, probably nung nakita ninyo yung mga schedule ninyo, ba, meron kayo nakita first half and second half. So this is what we call the modified semester. So I will explain from this, from this slide forward kung ano yung modified semester. Modified semester is a unique way of... of of PSAU in a
study and based in our surveys um nagkakaroon ng dahil asynchronous tayo dahil online tayo that ang ganitong classing setup so PSAU address this by modifying the semester so paano paano to modify semester in modified semester your 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 subjects will be divided into two sets so meron tayong first half and second half now yung first half it has a prescribed number of weeks at the same time, pareho din sa second half. So, meron din yung prescribed number of weeks. So, dito sa first half, um, dinivide natin yung inyong mga subjects na fewer than the usual. So, halimbawa, dito sa inyong screen, nakita ninyo, dinivide natin sila into two. So, we only have three subjects to focus on the first half of the semester. Now, on the second half of the semester, you will be focusing on another three subjects. So, in this way, magkakaroon tayo ng gradual transition dito sa tinatawag natin na new normal. So this is the modified semester. So I hope this like explain kung paano ninyo, uh, kung, kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng first half and second half sa inyong mga schedule. Ano pa lang naging implication nito? Now to meet the number of hours na required para sa isang subject, the number of hours is Doubled. So halimbawa, the usual three hours every week, ang mangyayari is six hours in a week because we are compressing the, the number of weeks na, na kailangan para doon sa isang subject. So this is the modified semester. And according to our survey, 80% of the students who experienced this wanted to continue to implement this modified semester. And since the PSA administration listens to the to the to the voice of the students so ini implement natin siya ulit for this new school year now these are just some reminders that you need to remember while we are doing the flexible learning so una observe online etiquettes let us be polite with our classmates with our teachers para wala tayong mas, wala tayong encounter na problema next is Always participate in your classes. It is very important to engage in your in the topics kasi dito natin makikita kung ano yung natututunan ninyo. Then collaborate harmoniously with others. So hindi ibig sabihin na virtual lang kayo nakikita ng mga classmates ninyo o ng teacher ninyo ay hindi na kayo makikipag-communicate sa kanila. There are ways to, co to collaborate to improve your social interaction. Especially, there are different virtual platforms where you be able to engage. So, meron tayong, uh, you could do uh, group work via Zoom. You could do uh, uh, conversations in different uh, messaging platforms. So, meron tayong ways on how to collaborate with our teachers and with our classmates. Then lastly, we have to treat everyone with kindness and respect. Mapa online man yan o mapa offline. So napaka importante na tratuhin natin lahat ng nakakasalamuha natin with kindness at the same time with respect. So um, for more information, there are available platforms. Now the admission and registration office uh, have this Google site for the schedules and for admission and registration announcements. So this will be able to access. This is accessed with this link. So yung bit.ly slash PSAU um, dash RT. Now yung flexible learning modality, we also have a Google site wherein you will be able to see kung ano yung mga information nakasama dito sa flexible learning. So ang ating link dyan is bit.ly slash Capital P S A U small letters F L M. So again, welcome to Pampanga State Agricultural University. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat din po, Dr. Gerald Salas, for that very informative talk regarding the flexible learning modality of Pampanga State Agricultural University. Just to set things clear, ha, hindi magpapadala ng mga print modules. So we will have that LMS or learning management system. And speaking of which, next week, mayroong lahat na schedule training for the use of the LMS. Don't you worry, ipopost namin ang information. Again, doon sa nabagit ni Dr. Gerald Salas kanina about the learning 
modality ng PSAU sa paggamit ng Learning Management System or LMS, there will be a training for you next week. So that is in Monday, on Monday, the first day of classes. And again, it's a modified semester. Para hindi masyadong stressful. Because you know, kapag sabay-sabay ang walong subjects, hindi mo na alam kung paano mo i-juggle lang yung schedule. So we have that here in PSA. And of course, don't you forget the netiquette that, that we should always have the right attitude. And let's continue with our program. Just like what I mentioned a while ago, our second goal for this program is to introduce to you some of the key personnel in PSAU. So let us all watch this video presentation.
Thank you for that video. Now that we know our key officials, and of course your student representatives, courtesy of the Supreme Student Council, let us proceed with the third target. So ibig sabihin na katapos na tayo ng dalawang una. Una yung ating flexible learning modality. Pangalawa ang key officials ng university. And now the third target. We have our lock on it. And it's about the services under the Office of Student Affairs and Services. There are 15 of them, and we are all going to watch the series of videos. Don't you worry, it's not that long. It is quite longer than the video a while ago, but of course, these are important services para alam ninyo kung ano ang kukontaking office kapag mayroong kayong kailangan. So I hope that is clear. And with that, let us all watch this video presentation. Good day everyone. My name is Paulina Soto Martin, University Registrar. The Office of the Registrar is located at the ground floor of the Administration Building. The office is open from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I have four office mates. We are in charge of the academic records of the students. Emails and other concerns will be entertained only during office hours and working days. All office transactions are online, but if it is deemed necessary to go to the office, you may first email us at registrar at psau.edu.ph for your appointment. Today, I'll be sharing some policies and guidelines to the registrar's office lifted from the PSAU Student Handbook. By the way, classes will start on October 4, 2021. The following are the important topics that I'll be discussing. Number one, PSAU is a state university, hence tuition fee is free. But be sure that you will finish your course on time, or else you will pay your tuition fee if you exceed the number of years required by Unifast. Number two, it is true that for SOOCs and LOOCs, tuition fee is free, but then there are forms that students will use with corresponding payments. There are several kinds of forms that students will use along the way, such as certifications, removal, completion, evaluation, and dropping form. Once availed, the student will be charged 50 pesos. While other forms like transcript of records, it's 75 pesos per page, while the diploma it's 160 pesos. Number three, let's take a look at the grading system. There are two kinds of grading systems used in the university, the old and the new. For enrollees this school year 2021-2022, professors will use the new one, while for the old students with student number, Starting from 2018 downwards, they will still use the old grading system. Number four, let's discuss Latin honors. We have three classifications of Latin honors. First, a candidate for summa cum laude shall obtain a weighted average of 1.0 to 1.19. Second, a candidate for magna cum laude shall have obtained a weighted average of 1.20 to 1.39. Third, a candidate of cum laude shall have obtained a weighted average of 1.40 to 1.59. In order for a student to become a candidate for Latin honors, he or she shall not have obtained a grade of incomplete, drop, five, four, or three in any of the academic subjects.
for the old students, previous Latin honor ratings will still be applicable. Number five, let's move on to the removal completion form. A grade of four means conditional failure. It may be removed by repetition of the course or re-examination. This form is accomplished in triplicate, one copy for the student, one for the professor, and another copy for the registrar's office. A grade of incomplete is given to a student who failed to take the final examination, wasn't able to submit requirements due to certain reasons. All grades of incomplete and four shall be removed, completed, within one academic year, otherwise it will be automatically becomes five. Number six, allow me to discuss a portion of the validation of advanced credits. This form is applicable for transferees and second coursers. Second coursers are allowed to have their subjects taken on their first course validated, provided the course description is the same. Validation shall be done at a rate of 8 new units or equivalent to 6 subjects a semester. While for transferees, maximum of 50% of all the subjects previously taken are allowed to be validated provided it is within the 5 years upon transfer to the university. If more than 5 years already, the student is advised to enroll the subjects. Number seven, dropping of subjects. A student who wants to quit or drop the subjects enrolled must take note of the dropping of subjects, which will be on October 30, 2021. To do it officially, just download the dropping form found at PSAU website and then accomplish and send it to your professors. You can also email the Office of the Registrar at registrar at psau.edu.ph. Informing us of the intention of dropping. For those who will not be able to do the process will be unofficially dropped or automatically will receive a grade of 5. Number 8. Another important form the registrar's office is the university clearance. This will be accomplished as soon as you graduated. Without this, you cannot have your credentials. This will also be needed for those students who opt to transfer to another school. Number nine, and finally, I have few reminders for all PSA students, especially the first year college. In transacting business at the registrar's office, please observe the following. Number one, transact business at the window. This is applicable for walk-in clients and those with appointments. Number two, be patient, wait for your turn. Especially those who will be sending emails to us, please wait for our response. Please do not flood our email with ulit ulit na message. One message is enough. Number three, be courteous in sending messages to us. Say good morning, good afternoon. Avoid telling us the word as, of, as soon as possible. We know what we are doing, and above all, we know our responsibilities to our clients. Number four, for further information about the policies and guidelines, please refer to the PSAU Student Handbook. Number five, lastly, you can contact us on the following email address, registrar at psau.edu.ph, PSAU FB page for all our announcements. PSAU website www.psau.edu.ph for downloadable forms and other information regarding the university.
I'm Leslie Valerio Torres, the coordinator of the graduate studies, and I'm going to present the general rules and procedures of the graduate studies. For the admission policies, the applicant must have the appropriate baccalaureate or master's degree. In case the applicant's degree is not in line with the degree he or she is applying for, he or she will be required to finish at least 18 units of the undergraduate subjects. An applicant whose degree is not in line with a program he or she wants to pursue, but whose work experience for not less than 10 years is consistent with the program may be accepted without finishing the required units, provided, however, that proof of competencies or skills obtained in the line of work is equivalent to the course required for admission to the program. Applicant must have a grade point average of 2.0 and 1.75 or better for a master's degree program and a doctoral program respectively and pass the entrance examination. For the admission requirements, we have the following. Official transcript of records, letters of recommendation from two of the applicants, former professors or supervisors, certificate of honorable dismissal for transferees, certificate of employment or service record, photocopy of marriage contract for married female students, and medical certificate. For probationary status, an applicant whose general point average is below what is required may be admitted on a probationary status provided that he or she has no failing grade in his or her major field. Moreover, he or she will only be allowed to enroll six units on his or her first semester. For the program duration requirement, for master's degree we have five years, and for doctoral degree we have seven years. For adding or changing of subjects, this should be done one week after the start of classes, and dropping of subjects should be done before the midterm examination using the prescribed form. An officially dropped course gets a grade of 5 at the end of the semester. For the attendance, any student who incurs absences equivalent to 20% of the total number of hours shall be dropped from the course and time lost by late enrollment shall be considered a time of absence from the class. For the subjects on tutorial basis, a student requesting for tutorial must be on his or her last term to complete academic requirements and the remaining academic units to be enrolled should not exceed the allowable load per term. For the disqualification to pursue master's or doctoral degree, we have the following. Failure in two subjects, failure to maintain the required minimum average grade of 2.0 and 1.75 or better, failure to pass the comprehensive examination for the second time, and failure to pass the thesis dissertation oral examination for the second time. For requests for leave of absence, this can be done when a student cannot attend classes for two consecutive terms, LOA shall not exceed one year, and this is included in the program duration requirement. For the comprehensive examination, a student may qualify upon the completion of all the academic requirements enrolled during the term. And to pass the examination, the student should get at least a grade of 2.0 in all the subjects. And a student is required to retake the failed subjects provided he or she passed at least 75% of all the subjects. Otherwise, he or she will be required to take the examination in all the subjects. For the thesis dissertation requirements, the student must pass the comprehensive examination and with the approved research title and dissertation advisory committee. Thank you. Welcome to Pampanga State Agricultural University, the Library and Museum Services. Our vision 
it is envisioned that the library will technologically equip and center of agricultural information not only in Pampanga and suburbs but also globally competitive with other educational institutions. Our mission to provide updated informational resources, client-centered services, and technological advancement that will augment the learning of the students and sustain the instructional, research, and extension programs of the faculty members and staff. Embracing the new normal education, the library has adopted the modified policies and safety precautionary measures in terms of management, supervision, library personnel, collections, virtual services, physical facilities, and linkages that will cater library clients from the comfort of their homes. The PSAU library offers safety health protocols, library services in the new normal, and meet the library staff. For safety health protocols, the library will open at exactly 8 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon from Mondays to Fridays in order to have time for its sanitation and disinfection, while online queries is 8 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the afternoon from Mondays to Saturdays. Wearing face mask, face shield, and bringing alcohol or hand sanitizer for personal use is compulsory. Clients who would like to research and study will be accommodated on a first-come, first-served basis, subject to the availability of seats and tables. Moreover, you may inform us to reserve or set an appointment to reduce the crowding of clients. For students, they can present to us the approved request letter and parental consent. Be sure you use alcohol and fill out the contract tracing form available at the entrance door. Provision on book drop service will be implemented for proper sanitation of return books and shall be quarantined at least 72 hours before shelving. Social distancing should be observed at all times. There will be limited number of clients inside the library. Follow all the signages posted in the library. Library services in the new normal. Chat Flora, friendly library and online reference assistance. She is ready to serve and assist you. Flora is always available in chat messenger and leave their questions automatically. One of the library staff will answer the query of the clients. Borrowing service. You can borrow references and use them at home through appointment or pick up. Just fill out the borrowing of library materials form available link at the library page. Returning service. The borrower must return the library materials on a due date and may request for renewal if they are needed for a longer period. Just fill out the Returning of Library Material Service form available link at the library page. Notify us through email, chat, or message, and drop your book in the box located at the guardhouse main gate. Virtual Reference Service You may ask a librarian or library staff for technical assistance and support through online platform. We have Ms. Sayri Alvarado, Ms. Sharon Rolioda and Mr. Adonis Tubig. Just fill out the virtual reference service form available link at the library page. Online document delivery service. You may chat to us your requested reference book or journal, then we will scan them and send them through your email. Just fill out the online document delivery service form available link at the library page. Library FB page provides an online current awareness bulletin board where you can see and check the newly acquired books, updates, announcements, and advisories in the library. Odilo Intelligent Digital Library Solution The PSAU library subscribes the electronic resources through consortium that provides clients to access e-books, audio books, e-learning materials, magazines, SCORM, shared document object reference model, videos, and other multimedia titles through electronic database platform. Pre-open access of e-resources and open educational resources. The PSAU library collaborates other stakeholders that provides free online resources links that are open access and open educational resources. These are Elsevier Science Direct, Scopus Database, Picard e-Library Portal, National Library of the Philippines e-Resources Portal, DOST Starbucks e-Resources Mobile App, and PhilChed Connect. 
Meet the library staff. For library services, we have Ms. Sayurin Alvarado, Head Library Museum Services and the College Librarian 3. Ms. Sharon Rolioda, the College Librarian 2. Ms. Florida Tarun, the College Librarian 1. Ms. Franz Lacson, the Library Staff. Mr. Adonis Tubig and Ms. Karen Velasquez, our Administrative Staff. For Museum Services, we have Architect Alejandro Balutan, the Senior Museum Researcher, and Museum Staff Ms. Angelica Merete. Ms. Dolores Pineda and Ms. Leticia Velasquez, our Utility Workers. You may contact us at 0935-599-4900 or you may email us at library at psau.edu.ph For more updates, references, and online resources, like and follow us on our Facebook page, PSAU Library and Museum Services. Thank you! Enjoy reading and keep safe everyone! Dear students of PSAU, I am Mr. Valerio, the head of the scholarship unit of our university. The scholarship unit is located at the guidance office of the administration building. You may visit us there for any concern as regards scholarship when face-to-face -face interaction is already allowed, or you may just contact us at our official Facebook page, the PSAU Scholarship Unit. To give you an idea, the university offers scholarships and grants to students excelling academically and to those who are involved in sports, cultural performance, school publication, student leadership, and many more. We also facilitate the application and processing of other scholarships and grants provided by partner government agencies and private institutions. Please feel free to communicate with us for any inquiry. We are very much willing to assist you in any way possible. Thank you, and may all have a wonderful learning at PSAU. Pleasant day, everyone, especially to the incoming and continuing student of the university. I am Sir Elmer Calaguas, the head of the student discipline of the University under the Office of the Student Affairs and Services. The Student Affairs and Services Unit ensures that there will be judicious and due process in the implementations of rules and regulations under the Student Manual of the University which governs student conducts and behavior. The Code of Conduct and Discipline. The Code of Conduct on Students' Discipline will be applied if there is complaint to a student by another student, by faculty members, by non-academic staff, and administrators of the university. It is a student responsibility to obey the laws of the land, rules and regulations of the university, and the standard of good society. Every student must know that a faculty member as the authority in keeping order and promoting decorum in class and is empowered to exclude a student for ungentlemanly conduct from his class and reports such case. A student should act accordingly during classroom activities and other affairs of the university. The code of conduct and discipline shall be applied to all bona fide students of the university. For offenses committed within the university jurisdiction, the provision of the code shall be applied whenever relevant. Otherwise, the laws of the land shall be applied. The norms of conduct. You have to consider three things for the norms of conduct. Number one, moral character. Number two, personal discipline. And number three, civic conscience and patriotism. Therefore, it is a must for every student to adhere to respect to God, respect to yourselves, respect to fellow men, and respect to the state. In order you have a secure state at the university. The grounds for disciplinary action. A student shall be subjected to disciplinary action for any of the offenses or violations with their corresponding sanctions or penalties. 
they are arranged on the screen from the most common to the more serious offenses with their corresponding sanctions or penalties such as reprimand, suspension, dismissal to a more severe case of expulsion from the university. In addition, showing objectionable films and pictures and or participating in shows, literary and musical programs contrary to the directives of the state that will be mentioned shall be punishable by expulsion from the university. Number one, inciting subversion, insurrection, or rebellion against the state. Number two, undermining the faith and confidence of the people in government and or constituted authorities. Number three, glorifying criminals and condoning crimes. Number four, serving no other purpose but satisfying the market for sex and violence. Number five, offending any race or religion. Number six, participation in distribution and keeping in possession of prohibited drugs and narcotics. And number seven, other which are contrary to law. A must for student discipline. Proper wearing of identification card or ID. ID shall be required for every student of the university. The cards shall be worn by the student upon entry and whenever they are within the premises of the university. The student shall not be allowed to enter and use any facility and avail of any services without the ID card. Non-compliance to the above mentioned rules, the student will not be allowed to enter the university. Number two, wearing of prescribed school uniform and society and college shirts. All bona fide students of the university are required to wear the prescribed uniform during school days, except for designated was day or declared or PE uniforms shall be worn only during the prescribed time or period. Prescribed uniform for the other programs shall be required of their student after student pass the qualifying examination for the said program. Student absences. A student who incurs absences of more than 20% of the prescribed number of class or laboratory periods during the school year or term shall fail and earn for the course or subject authority to maintain school discipline every higher education institution shall maintain discipline inside its campus as well as within the immediate surroundings of the school premises an institution shall also exercise disciplinary action over students outside its campus and beyond school hours term or, or year in any instances. Overall students, remember this. Your best defense against these violations are not to commit them. And when time permits, secure your student manuals or handbooks at the Office of Student Affairs and Services. Thank you so much and enjoy your stay at PSA. sa inyo ng isang magandang araw at magandang buhay sa ating lahat bilang isang namumuno sa security. Nais nice ko pong magbigay ng ilang mahalagang paalala sa siguridad ng bawat isa ng naaayon sa IATF guidelines para sa ating kaligtasan at pag-iwas sa COVID-19. Ang mga sumusunod na alituntunin na ay dapat tandaan sa tuwing tayo ay papasok sa ating universidad, ang Pampanga State Agricultural University. Una, kinakailangan po natin magsuot ng face mask o face shield. Dalawa, duman po tayo sa putbat, thermal scanning at disinfection. Ikatlo, mag-fill out po tayo ng health checklist. Ikaapat, kung tayo po ay nanggagaling sa labas ng ating probinsyang Pampanga, nagmangyari po lamang na magdala ng health clearance galing sa inyong rural health unit. Ikalima, Panatagihin po natin ang ating social distancing, ikaani. At kung sakaling tayo po ay may kasamang papasok, pinapayuan po na kung sino lang ang may transaksyon 
ay siya lamang papasok sa mga opisina upang mapanatili po natin ang kaligtasan ng bawat isa. Ito po ay ilan lamang sa ating mga paalala na dapat natin tandaan para sa ating kaligtasan. Kami po ay umaasa sa inyong kooperasyon. Mabuhay po tayong lahat at ang pagpapala ng ating Diyos ay sumating lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po. Good day and welcome to Pampanga State Agricultural University. I am Sancho A. Garcia, Jr. and I am in charge of Food Service Unit of this university. Currently, the University Food Center is under renovation. It is located besides the University Library. The Food Service Unit is in charge of regular monitoring of food safety practices of the food establishments and food concessionaires that cater to the students within the university and the vicinity. The food service unit ensures adequate, safe, and healthy food within the campus and the vicinity. Again, welcome to Mabanga State Agricultural University. your university physician and the head of the health services. Welcome to Pampanga State University. Welcome to Farmers Medical Center. This is our clinic, the Farmers Medical Center, formerly PSAU Infirmary. It is manned by a licensed physician as the head and two licensed nurses. It has a licensed dentist, a dental assistant, and a utility worker. It is open from Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Saturday at 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. It caters to PSAU students, employees, their dependents, and the outside community. So, how do we take care of you? We do outpatient medical and dental procedures, and the center is equipped with the following features. Nurse station, doctor's consultation room. It has one male and female wards with four bed capacity each. Both are fully air conditioned with bathroom. For infectious cases, we have an isolation observation room. We also have a two bed capacity emergency room, a pharmacy, health and wellness center, and a dental room. We have an ambulance made available 24-7 for emergency cases. Though we cannot personally see you because of the pandemic, please know that the Farmers Medical Center is here for your medical and dental needs. Please protect yourself at all times so you too can better protect others. Together, we heal as one. For any queries, please visit PSAU Infirmary Facebook account. Thank you.
I'm Dennis Hipolito, a member of PSA Urandalia and Indigenous Musical Ensemble, or the Prime. I am a living proof of what Prime can do to a simple student. I thought that music was never part of my life, but Prime helped me to discover my talent and improve my abilities. So what are you waiting for? Join the PSA Urandalia and Indigenous Musical Ensemble, and together we will explore the culture within our hands. Imagine Coral is a choir group of Pampanga State Agricultural University. We perform during five ceremonies, church masses, and special events or occasions like when important people like the mayor or senators come to the university and talk about various things. We also get to perform outside the campus in or sometimes even outside Magala. We also get the chance to compete with other universities in the Kaasok event held once a year during the month of November. The university supports us through all of this by providing us our costumes and giving us our allowances which are based on the number of units that we take and our performances as an active member of the group. Overall, it is so much fun being a part of Imago de Coral. We get to form bonds, build friendships with other students from different colleges, and we also get to develop our own skills and talents. Do you want to learn how to play instruments such as drums and lar? Do you also want to learn how to use a baton? Be part of PSAU at German Lar Car, with or without experience. We are looking for majorettes, lyrics, and percussionists. Majorettes must be slim, mestiza, or morena. If you have the willingness and dedication, you are welcome to be part of our family, as with the PDLC, continue our legacy. So what are you waiting for? Let us enjoy this once-in-a-lifetime experience of playing musical instruments together. See you soon, kapatid! Hilig mo ba ang magpatawa? <laughs> o oh, di kaya naman ang magpaluha? <laughs> o kaya naman ay maghatid ng kahintik-hintik na emosyon? Mm, what are you waiting for? This is the guild where you can be anybody portraying different personalities. Sabi dapin, si Canon Look Kapalan Marine. Kenny na ka, aslagan ka pampangan, theater act kill. The Lagranja Modelo Dance Troupe of Pampanga State Agricultural University is an organization that can boost confidence of individuals. It has four categories folk dance, indigenous or indigenous contemporary, and hip-hop. Representing PSAU in regional and national competition, performing in every program or events of our school, and receiving invitations to perform in other schools and other places is a big privilege to all of us. The La Granja Modelo Dance Group has been performing a lot here in our region, and as well as we are competing into various competitions outside the university. So if you want to express your talents in dancing, learn and discover different colorful cultures through folk dances and indigenous dances, if you want to hip and hop and break the dance floor, or if you want to flex your legs and learn different unique techniques when it comes to contemporary dancing, what are you waiting for? We are wholeheartedly welcoming you to La Granja Modelo Dance Room. See you! The Office of Cultural and Performing Arts of PSAU is an organization that brings equally talented students all together. We continually promote arts and culture with our talent through regional and national competitions. Being excellent in academics is not the only factor to make a Filipino student shine globally. But also by being competent and skilled in representing our identity as excellent Filipinos. So what are you waiting for? Come, come, be an excellent student.
Julia Hernandez, your Supreme Student Council President for the school year 2020-2021. And of course, we welcome you here in our University, Pampanga State Agricultural University. We, the Supreme Student Council, will help you for you to have the best experience here. If you have concerns or queries, you may message us on our Facebook page. Just search PSAU Supreme Student Council or email us on psausc2020 at gmail.com. Have a great day! Magandang araw at pagbati sa inyong lahat. Kasalukuyan nating kinahaharap ang isang kalabang hindi nakikita at tayo ay nabubuhay sa paraan ng new normal. Dahil dito, maraming pagbabago ang ating nararanasan, lalo na sa sektor ng edukasyon. Gayunpaman, ang campus journalism ay narito upang manatili at mas paitingin pa para maging plataforma, lalo na ngayong sinusubok tayo ng pandemya. Ako si Ginoong Dexter Andrew Omanan, ang tagapayo ng Sinukuan Gazette at Publication Unit Head under ng Office of Student Affairs and Services. Ibabahagi ko sa inyo ngayon ang ilang mahalagang impormasyon tungkol sa Sinukuan Gazette. Ano nga ba ang publication? Ito ay anumang print material kung saan nakaimprenta ang mahalagang impormasyon. Sa battle cry nitong Redefining Courage, Liberty and Passion, ang Sinukuan Gazette, ang official student publication ng Pampanga State Agricultural University. Ito ay naglalayon na paglingkuran ang mga mag-aaral at katawanin ang boses ng mga estudyante. Ang Sinukuan Gazette ay binubuo ng isang editorial board and staff na masusing pinili sa isang pantay at magusising pagsusuli. Ang Sinukuan Gazette ay naglalabas ng tatlo hanggang apat na isyu kada taon. Ito ay maaaring literary folio, tabloid, magazine o newsletter. Naglalabas din ng flash issues kung kinakailangan at ang mga ito ay ipinamimigay sa mga mag-aaral ng pantay-pantay. Ito ay upang masiguro na ang bawat mag-aaral ay mabigyan ng pagkakataong maging maalam sa mga isyu sa loob at labas ng paaralan at sa iba't ibang isyu panlikunan. Para sa new normal, tungkulin pa rin ng Sinukuan Gazette na paglingkuran ang mga mag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng paglalabas ng mga napapanahong balita at iba pang mahalagang impormasyon. Dahil dito, palalawigin ng publication ang social media presence nito sa pamamagitan ng paglalabas ng online news and articles, mga larawan, videos, at akdang pampanitikan. Isa rin ang Sinukuan Gazette sa mga nagbibigay karangalan sa Pampanga State Agricultural University sa katunayan sa nakaraang 19th Regional Higher Education Press Conference noong Enero 2020. Nakamit ng Sinukuan Gazette ang ikalimang pwesto bilang pinakamahusay na publication sa buong Rehiyon Press. Ito rin ay consistent na wawagi sa Luzon Wide Higher Education Press Conference kahit na ito ay sa individual, o group contests. Maninindigan ang Sinukuan Gazette na magsisilbing plataforma ng katotohanan, lalo na sa panahon ngayon kung saan marami ang naghahanap ng balita at makabuluhang impormasyon. Kung gusto ninyo maging bahagi ng student publication bilang creative o technical writer, visual artist, photojournalist, multimedia artist, o kahit ano paman ang nasa linya, Hintayin lamang ang aming anunsyo. Para maging updated naman sa lahat ng impormasyong aming ilalabas, pakilike at follow ang aming official social media accounts. 
Stay safe, everyone. See you online, PSA students. Goodbye. Muli, maraming salamat po sa Office of Student Affairs and Services for showing us yung iba't iba pong serbisyo na pwedeng pakuha ng bawat mag-aaral sa PSAU. Ngayon, tapos na tayo sa ating tatlong objectives. Nalangan natin kung ano ang learning modality para sa taong ito. Nakilala natin ang ilang key personnel, pati ang inyong mga student representatives sa SSC, at naibahagi na namin sa inyo ang mga serbisyo ng Pampanga State Agricultural University. Huwag kayong mag-alala para mas mapadali ang ating pakikisalamuha sa bawat isa at ang mga transaksyon. Maglalagay kami ng isang directory ngayong linggo ito. Gusto rin namin kayong i-remind na next week magkakaroon kayo ng training para sa paggamit ng ating LMS para hindi kayo mahirapan dito sa darating na unang semestre ng ating taon. And for the information of everyone, dahil may mga tanong, yung ating tuition and other fees, that's free. Kung ito ay ang inyong unang kurso. Dahil sa free tertiary education law, ang ating pag-aaral o ang inyong pag-aaral ay libre. Ang inyong mga COR or certificate registration ay inyong makukuha mula sa inyong email. Ito rin ay accessible mula sa inyong mga student portal. At tulad nga sinabi ng admission office kanina sa kanilang video, you have to read, read, and read. Tandaan, ang mga impormasyon ay nakasaad na sa aming mga anunsyo. Ang kailangan nyo lang gawin ay balikan ang mga anunsyo ito. You might have missed something. Lalo na sa mga may mga katanungan pa dyan. Alam ko, gusto nyo nung, gusto ninyong itanong ngayon o kaya naman sa page. Ganito po iyon, hindi lahat ng inyong tanong ay masasagot talaga ngayon dahil may mga specific na concerns pa rin maliban sa inyong mga katanungan and alam ko after ng sagutan, may kasunod na naman kayong katanungan. Pakitingnan ang mga nakaraang anunsyo o kaya naman, you have to contact the right office. Kaya pakihintay na lamang aming directory. And with that, let us proceed with the closing remarks for this program. For that, I will now be giving the floor to the Director of the Office of Student Affairs and Services, Dr. Arnelio S. Valerio. Thank you, Sir Dexter. To our officer in charge and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Anita G. David, our Vice President for Administration, Business and Finance, Mrs. Mirna B. Lorenzo, our Vice President for Research, Extension and Training, Dr. Emilita C. Kempis, our Vice President for Pillar 4D, Dr. Lyndon Solis, deans and directors of the university, heads of offices, colleagues, dear students, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in this virtual orientation for new and continuing students. I hope that you, dear students, were able to know the faces of the servants of PSAU and its services being offered for your fair. I would also like to express special thanks to Ma'am Danica Marcelo, the one who supervised this orientation and took care of almost everything. To Sir Clark Sanchez, um, who live streamed this uh, orientation. Our very good MC, Sir Dexter Andrew Manalo. And of course, our OJT students, from Biles who assisted us, Abigail, Jill, and Jessica. Uh, and Ma'am Annette, of course, our VPAA for her untiring support to the OSAS. Muli po, maraming salamat po sa lahat. Mabuhay po kayo. Mabuhay po ang PSAU. Thank you, Dr. Arnelio S. Valerio, our Director for OSAS. Reminder, mga students natin na nag ng ating virtual orientation program, please do not forget to fill out the registration form. Nasa announcement po iyan, nakapost siya. And after this program, we will be posting an evaluation link. 
paki-register din po ang inyong mga pangalan doon and please rate the program. Again, we are reminding everybody to please answer the registration form and the evaluation form right after this virtual orientation program. And with that, maraming maraming mga attendees. To the new students, we hope pa paano nakatulong ito sa inyong adjustment phase bilang college students. Don't you worry, there are still other programs para mas matulungan kayo ng PSAU na makapag-fully adjust sa inyong journey sa buhay na ito. And to our continuing students, pakitulungan na lang ang inyong mga first year students sa kanilang mga concerns and questions para naman magkaroon din kayo ng magandang role para sa kanila. Of course, kayong nauna, malamang mas marami kayong alam. And with that, dahil natapos na natin ang ating tatlong targets this morning, we are bidding goodbye for this program. To appropriately close the virtual orientation, may we all sing the PSAU hymn. Fields of the mountain, no upbringing of the light, spring of wisdom found the home for the future of the land to enable and empower all who wish to flow and grow, to explore and soar the highs, to prosper. Oh, man.